Hi guys, welcome back to Mar Marsha's Mush and Stuff. Good morning to everyone, and if you are new here, thanks for stopping by, and I definitely hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of the extended family today. I do appreciate each and every one of you, and today, well this was actually yesterday, Saturday, we took a special trip to Johnson City, Tennessee. This is about 30 miles away from where I live. But this is probably my all-time favorite Dollar Tree. In fact, this is so far my favorite Dollar Tree. They really do get a lot of the top selling products and I was so happy to get to go here yesterday. As you saw or see right there, I mean that scarf itself above is absolutely gorgeous at a dollar. You can't beat that. They had the Snugadoo socks and that headband is the wider one that I had been looking for for so long and these were definitely new these poinsettia clips make a great addition to any wreath or DIY that you're doing and these I'm kicking myself for not picking up when I saw them I've also seen these in the ornament section as well <clears throat> But guys, these are brand new, and I found three of them. The bread was probably my favorite, and then here you see the love in gold and the little pig with his ears covered. I'm assuming there were hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And then these initials, these ceramic initials and trinket trays. The initials stood up by themselves, but these, the little flamingo, the other was a succulent, the unicorn, and these are brand spanking new. I had actually not even seen the letters hauled until after I got home from filming this video. And then these two as well, I have not seen these in my local stores. Life is meant to be lived. That's a great saying. And then trust your journey. We've seen that saying before. And then the adventure is calling in green coming up here. Not my favorite saying because I feel like a lot of us haven't gotten to have any adventure lately but hopefully 21 will bring a different year let's see I can't remember what the other one said oh hello love yes that's very pretty these make perfect DIYs as well you can tear them apart you can put your own take inside of it And then the little circle mirror I rarely see in my Dollar Tree. And then down in Crafter Square, <clears throat> excuse me, they had all of this glitter and it was going fast. You see, they had two cases, two boxes of it, <clears throat> and they were almost sold out. And then just filming this area, this is an area we don't have in my local store, but you see the stencils and the foam letters. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then up in the, right there in the left hand corner, I love that font. And these guys, I, I was thinking would be perfect if you have a silhouette, cricket. Um, I have a cricket joy that I don't know how to use 
So any tips on that would be awesome. And then the glitter glue packs, you get 10 per pack. And guys, if you're wanting to add glitter to a project, what an easy solution without making a big, huge mess. And then you see the chalkboard signs. They stood up either vertical or horizontally. And of course, you could always take the little stand off. I thought these little elephants were so cute. <clears throat> and as you know, I'm very partial to that. And these are a must have when crafting. I don't know why you only get three. <laughs> But um, they fly off the shelves every time I've seen them. And this is the store I actually found them in originally. And I love these chalkboard tags. The hearts are beautiful. But right there, is that a new design or just new to me because I never see these? Let me know in the comments section below. But then they had this size with the little kickstand as well and then they had the smaller one right there as you see and they also had the big round tag as well and then just painting down through here for you they had the crates in full stock that little owl is cute and those boxes are very popular among crafters and this felt I never see it in my store or rarely so thought I would film that for you guys exciting to go to a new store that I don't really frequent not very often they even had the foam letters. I didn't get to capture. They had one pack left. And it was getting pretty crowded in this aisle. So it was hard to capture everything for you. But I definitely tried. They had the glue sticks in gold and silver. And guys, we've seen this shape before. Well, not before. This is actually brand new. But um, I have seen it on other channels. First time I'm seeing it in my store. First time I'm seeing the spider as well. Those are so cute too. And you could certainly DIY those. You could do your own take. Even take it off a stand. There's the little milk trinket tray if you look below on the second shelf. And then the bumblebee trinkets. Don't know why... I was not thinking about it, but, um, yeah, those would make great gifts in general. And then some little candles. I told you guys, I always see something in my video that I didn't pay attention to in the store. And those little jars right there... I have done a DIY with they were actually blue when I saw them or when I did them I should say and they make perfect DIYs as well these are new decor pieces not quite sure what they're meant to be but they are definitely new kind of have a Christmas tree vibe going and these are like a fast track for your kitty to play with. I'd actually said, I'd seen these before. And I said if it had a ball, I would have bought one. Well, they do come with a ball, by the way. And then this charcoal soap and sponge in one. A very cool product. Kind of wish I had picked that up, to be honest. This Himalayan bath saw, I have used this before. It dissolves just as well as any other. And the Freeman mask. Now, ladies and gents, I do want to tell you guys, if you go to Sally Beauty Supply, 
store. These are five dollars a piece for the Freeman mask. So it's like buying one, getting four free at the Dollar Tree. So you could pick up all five, perfect for a beauty bag or, you know, to add to any gift set. And that would be great. And then they had those oval sided bath sponges. And then I always just hand down the aisle after I show you something new or new to me. I do own this facial wash. I cannot tell you whether it's good or not. I've yet to use it. And again, still unpacking, so I've yet to find it as well. <clears throat> and hand sanitizer I am seeing in every Dollar Tree I've walked into. So that is so nice and this guy's made me really sad why open this i mean really no one's gonna buy this now so they're gonna have to chalk that up to a loss and sad because those smell really good and you can see that plenty of people had been buying them all the rest of the soaps were pretty fully stocked now this slumber I've seen it before as well, but it definitely gives me a bath and body vibe. The aromatherapy. And then I did find some flower makeup. I was so happy. This is actually the tinted moisturizer. And <clears throat> guys, little secret here. On the weekend, you're kind of getting the rem remnants of what is left over because most Dollar Trees get shipments during the weekdays and they also stock during the week. So, another flower product. This was like, if, if this had been a light lip gloss, I would have definitely grabbed it, but it literally said pure intense color on the left hand side there I don't know if you can read it because it's sideways but it's lip suede matte color so the color you see there is the color you get so I was a little disappointed that I didn't find more of the flower products so but that sugar lip scrub I can speak for save your dollar it does not work well at all and I did find <clears throat> the Buffalo check dish drying mat could not find any of the towels or the chargers or anything like that now this was new a uh, 10 piece parchment paper perfect for baking especially at the holidays I think some Dollar Trees uh, have their take on it as well like in the Reynolds like how you get the Reynolds pre-cut foil they have the pre-cut parchment paper I've never ran across it this was exciting to me the gold baskets and the trays there I have only seen these when I go to Johnson City and then these were really cute and would make a, a cute little gift too these sponge holders are going fast these are very popular now if you have a ceramic sink like I do they will not stick just saying and then I thought if you do have a Cricut, you could definitely DIY these. It is a blank canvas, but it has the sleeve around it. And you see it there in orange, green, and gray. Perfect fall colors. And then panning up to this, I actually keep cereal in mine, but perfect for storing food. And then these were shake. Well, I'm sorry, mix and serve. 
I don't know where I got the shape from. And then this poor little lonely elephant by himself in the, I think this is their pile of things to be put back on the shelves. But I did not see the other ones. But guys, I do want to thank you again for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you consider doing that today. And definitely give this video a thumbs up as it definitely helps our channel to grow. Thank you so much and have a very blessed Sunday.